Wait! You don't need to spend tons of money. You don't need to make it rain. Today, I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways that you can make your own unique sounds. Let's jump right into it. So the first one I wanna show you is if you find like a clip of your vocal that you wanna emphasize. So let's check some stuff out here. I didn't wanna take it slow. Let's say I want to emphasize that I didn't want to. Let's just hear it here. I didn't want it. Okay, so I'm just going to like grab that, just that little phrase. I'm just chopping it up and I'm going to grab it and put it over here and I'm going to try Quick Sampler Optimized. So what Quick Sampler Optimized is going to do is it's going to analyze the audio clip and put it on what it thinks it's its root note. And now you can play it on your MIDI keyboard. I didn't want it. My MIDI keyboard is here. I didn't want it. So now let's talk about a few things that we can do within the quick sampler. So you see if I like go, if I go lower on my MIDI keyboard, it slows it down. And if I go higher, it speeds it up. Well, for this track, I want it to actually follow tempo. So I'm going to click this little button and I'm going to have it follow tempo. So now when I go up, it like slows it down to the tempo of my song, which is 100 BPM. I didn't want it. I didn't want it. And what if I wanted this to be just didn't want it? I can just move this over. Didn't want it. Didn't want it. Didn't want it. Didn't want it. And this is a really cool way to create like vocal chops or I can make chords. Didn't want it. Didn't want it. You can go over here into MIDI effects and you can try some of these. So let's try chord trigger just for funsies. Didn't want it. Didn't want it. Didn't want it. And if we go over to presets, let's see what we got here. Let's try pop right hand. Lots of cool things, right? Now, what if we try not a chord trigger? What if we tried our arpeggiator? So I'm gonna go over to MIDI effects. I'm gonna go over to arpeggiator here and I can just mess around with it. Or you can go over here and try out some of these presets. So lots of cool things that you can do in that sense. Another thing that you can do is you can actually add like a choir. Um, let's see if I just grab some of these chords and just put them down here. Just out of curiosity how this would sound. So let's say we just want this here. That's kind of fun. And then maybe let's make this one a long one. Pretty cool. So that's one way to create your own sounds using the quick sampler. Now I want to show you the sampler. I'm going to go over here. I right clicked over in this section and I said new software instrument track. Now I'm going to go over to instrument and I'm going to go down to where it says sampler and I'm going to do sampler this one this is going to pop up and then you can click these different things to see more of the tools that you want to see and what i want to use is this area so this zone part i don't need this part i don't need this part i don't need this part right now i'm going to do this mapping one and i'm going to take the sample i want and i'm just going to drag it here and so right now it's only going to play which i had to lower down I didn't want it. but i want to move it like this I didn't want I didn't want it, I didn't want it, I didn't want it. And it's basically the sampler in here. I didn't want it, I didn't want it. So we want to do this to follow the tempo again. I didn't want it, I didn't want it. And let's say we want it to just be wanna. And we could test what it would sound like reversed if we reverse it. That's kind of cool. 
That's super cool. We'll keep it in reverse for now. Now we can actually layer this sound. We can layer the sound with another vocal, but what I like layering it with is like actually like textures. So if I go over here, these are royalty free loops and sounds in Logic that you can use already. And like, look how many there are. There's 33,000. I could just search vinyl. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one. I'm just gonna drag this here. And now I'm going to stretch it out too. So now it's gonna mix those sounds together. What if it's reversed? That sounds pretty cool already. And you can even continue layering these sounds. Like let's say I wanna add this rhythmic type beat underneath it. So let me just extend. I want it to follow tempo. It would sound like this. Which is super cool. Let's say I wanna mess around with the volumes. I can mess around with the volumes here. I can tune it. I can add a filter. So many cool things that you can do with this sampler to create your own sounds. And this is totally free. Okay, the next way that I wanna show you that you can create your own sounds, I feel like a lot of people don't know about this tool that you can use just right in Logic and that this is a totally free stock Logic plugin that is actually really good. So what you're gonna do is go over here and do new software instrument track, go over to instrument, Go down to where it says synthesizer and you're going to go down to vocoder synth. And now what I wanted to do over here in this analysis input, I'm going to actually have it pick my main vocal, which I have it labeled as clean stock vocal chain. So we have it there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drag down the chords and check this out. Oh, one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one of these presets. I just like starting with one of these presets and then ingesting them to taste. And I like one of these like vocal ones. Check this out. Quick little trick. If you press command U, it'll actually cycle the exact region that you want it to cycle. <laughs> And this is really cool because now you can actually bounce this to audio. So you can press control B to bounce it into audio. Now we have the audio of it. We could actually reverse it. I want to just reverse that ending bit. And that's kind of like a cool transition. So that could be like the way we start our song. I didn't wanna take and something else we can do is you can hold down option and you can actually drag this out to make it like a longer sound. I didn't wanna take it slow. Sometimes I like to just have it fall on the other side. So then unreverse it. So it's like this. I didn't wanna take it slow. And then I'd have like a crossfade there and obviously make this a little bit softer. You can even throw on a reverb if you want this to sound super lush. I didn't wanna take it slow. If you wanted to add a reverb, I would have probably done that right before I bounced this one. Let's just go with Space Designer is fine. And I just want it to be like pretty big. That's kind of cool. I now want it to bounce more than just this region because you see how it was like out here too. So I'm gonna press Control Command B to bounce this track in place, not just the region. And now it's going to go through that whole track. So basically what I wanna do now is I wanna cut just this ending. Mm, so pretty. Delete that. Now I'm gonna reverse it. Now we can have it start our track. Can actually delete that for now. And let's hear. I 
And I kind of like having this happen like a few times. I didn't want to take it slow. And I just want the world to know. One last cool way I wanted to show you how to make your own sounds in Logic Pro. So we'll use that same sample again. I'm going to drag it over here. And this time I'm going to do sample alchemy. So check this out. I didn't want it. I didn't want it. You have the classic loop, I, I but you can move around these points. And then you have other things. So then you have this loop, which will actually like loop oh, a no. section. And you can decide how long you want the loop to be. Then you have scrub. which is crazy. Then you have bow. And you can decide the size of it. The rate. The pan, pretty cool. So many cool things you could do with that. And then there's the art. And then you could add multiple points. How fun is that? So there are so many different ways that you can create your own unique sounds in Logic Pro. I really hope this video was helpful. There are actually a few more ways that you can create your own sounds in Logic Pro. Let me know if you guys want me to make a video on that. Of course, I have my Logic Pro ebook, which has 400 quick Logic Pro tips in here. I will link it below for you to check it out. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye.